you've got a new project to build, but how do you get started? There is way too many options. Should you use React, Svelte, or Vue.js? And for CSS, what about Bootstrap, SaaS, or Tailwind? Then there's which bundler to try, Rollup, Snowpack, or Vit. Here's some of my picks to get you going quickly. So I'm gonna go from the simplest to the slightly more complex. Just remember that with great power, you know the rest. If you use Visual Studio Code, it comes with a great tool called Emmet. Now Emmet is a toolkit for coding faster through quick shortcuts. One of the shortcuts available in Emmet will let you quickly create an HTML page. I'm gonna start up a new project and then create a new HTML page. Now here's one thing, you need to make sure that you have chosen HTML as the type right here. Once you've done that, you'll have access to the Emmet shortcuts. Now you can type the exclamation point and then hit the expansion key, which is usually tab. And then you can tap through the different options. So I'm gonna to tap the to document, give this a title, and then I can hit tab again to go to the body section. Here I can start typing in my abbreviation. So I can say something like give me a header level one with a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text. Here's a shortcut to show you how powerful this can get. Let's go ahead and expand that. With the shortcut, I quickly created a sidebar with all the items that I need and created breakpoints for the different sections. Emmet is great for building little templates of content types that you can add. Trust me, learning Emmet is well worth your time. I'm just scratching the surface on what you can do here. Another way to get you started quickly on a page, if you want a little more flexibility, is to use this website called HTML Boilerplate. It gives you the structure for different components that might need to go on your HTML page. It's not a ton of options, but it has a lot of the things that you'll need to have in your boilerplates to get going. Another way that I start a lot of new projects is to base them on an old project. You can easily switch any GitHub repo and convert it to a template. Just go to the settings tab and click on the template repository option. Now you can click on the use this template button on the homepage of the project. You can use this with another one of GitHub's great shortcuts. If you want to create a new GitHub repo that's based on any template, you can use the new shortcut at github.new. Now you can choose this or any of the other templates that you've turned on right here. Okay, what if you want to create a project based on someone else's GitHub repo? but you don't want to fork it, or maybe you forgot to create a template for your own project based on the repo. And you might even be looking to clone a specific branch, and you definitely want to start off with a clean history. This is where Deget has some advanced features that makes this particularly easy. It's a CLI that you'll need to install globally. Once you've done that, you can easily clone any repo's latest state with a simple format. We'll type in the username of the repo, then a slash, and then the name of the project that we want to copy. Then we can create a name for our project. Although it assumes that you'll be cloning from GitHub, you can also specify others by prefixing a keyword. If you want to clone just a subdirectory, you can simply add slashes to read the right directory. One of the big advantages here is that you're cloning the repo without any history. So you can grab a piece of a project to begin a new project easily. For a more advanced project, you need more choices. You can try createapp.dev. It lets you choose different libraries like React, Svelte, or vanilla JavaScript. And you can choose build tools like Webpack, Parcel, or Snowpack. And also UI libraries like Bootstrap or Tailwind CSS. Name your project and you can either hit the download project button to get a zip file, or you can scroll down and copy the terminal commands to set this up yourself. Create app is cool, but what if you're not really into so many choices? You just need something super modern and quick. My new favorite is Vit. Some of the features include a live preview server, native JavaScript import commands, hot module replacement, support for CSS, JSX, and TypeScript. Vit doesn't let you choose. It just uses Rollup, ESBuild, and then adds template support for React, Vue, or Vanilla.js. It's one of those things that just works and sometimes that's just what you need to get started.